Hey guys, I'm back on Chiridori Avenue in Akihabara. They couldn't have timed that better, could they? <laughs> Now, I already came up on the uh, left side of the street there, and this side of the street looked uh, a lot quieter. <clears throat> so hopefully we can uh, capture a little bit more of the scenery this time, and the lovely full colours. Now, as I mentioned before, this is the... Um, oh, okay. Arigato gozaimasu. Okay. Just filming at the moment, but in a little while. Yeah, she wasn't bashful about being on camera, was she? Now there are a lot of other countries where uh, when you get hassled by the hawkers you can never get rid of them. At least here in Japan they're very respectful. Yeah, they might ask you, but I wonder if that's the uh, Gachapon station right there. I think actually it is. In a way, I should pop, it, pop in and say hello to this guy, because uh, I bought a lot of stuff from him last year. And I'm also wondering if he'll uh, remember me. I, I mean, I am uh, a somewhat unique looking individual, certainly in Japan anyway. There's not too many people with uh, Elvis sideburns here. But this particular space right here is actually quite famous. Just for the sheer number of uh, gacha machines that they have. Let's see what they've got in the front there. Now, I think what I'll do is when the video is done, I, I'll uh, come back. You know, they also have rules with no cameras in there. I remember that from last year. Oh, I'm not paying attention. Well, like I said, last year when I was here, um, yeah, I loved collecting figurines. And instead of playing the games, uh, the guy has, it's more than one shelf, he's got like, uh, like maybe half a dozen cases. And I took up an awful lot of his time by saying, yeah, I'll take this one and this one. And I, I spent over a hundred dollars here last year. Which I'm not disappointed in. And actually, I also came into this store here to buy a few. But this one was more of a rip off here to the right. Oh, when I say a rip off, I. Uh, it was significantly more expensive than the one I uh, initially went in. past these girls here. Yeah. 
Liverpool uh, you lovers of uh, AKB48, this is their uh, main headquarters store. On the uh, top floor here, the, uh, for want of a better word, the trainees for uh, AKB48. They put on performances here to get them used to uh, performing to crowds. Not the uh, type of music I'm interested in, but some of you might be interested in that, so I figured I'd capture it. Alright, here's my opportunity to make some ground up here. Actually, a good view here. I know all I'm doing right now, it appears, is just filming the backs of people. But it's a little unavoidable because it's more crowded than I anticipated. Now the Taito station, uh, not sure if you can see the uh, Space Invaders uh, image right there. That's what they're famous for. And they do actually sell their own little tote bag for five dollars. Uh, like five or five hundred yen, so just less than five dollars. And that actually would be a nice little cheap, cheap souvenir to get. So again, after I finish filming, I'm going to uh, walk around quite a bit and uh, get to do some of the things that I want to do. And also, I want to get to the uh, the trio store, as I mentioned before. I think it's right there, actually, uh, on that street there. So I didn't want to film the um, the maid cafe area, but perhaps just to finish the video off, I'll uh, I'll include just a couple of minutes of that. <laughs> 